What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog episode. And once again, there's a ton of mail. Well, there's not a ton, there's just big boxes. We got these two guys, and then we've got this big dude. So, now let's go ahead and open up this. Pretty much know what all these are, so we'll get to opening. What we've got in the mail today is the 20 foot by 10 foot tent for grid life. So we're gonna be nice and cool. We'll be in the shade for pretty much every track day we do. That thing's a lot heavier than it looks also. Got our planted driver's side seat base here, which I'm pretty pumped about. Excited to get that seat lower, have it be sturdy, have it be stronger. And then this guy, this guy is the base for the cool shirt. So let me move this. Here's the base for the cool shirt. So we'll bolt this to the floor of the car. We can pull the cool shirt out with these little Velcro straps and just makes life easy. So that's everything that came in the mail today. And tomorrow I'll be installing a seat bracket. I'll do the cool shirt and we'll pretty much get those wrapped up. Um, I think right now I'm gonna probably go to the clubhouse and see what's going on with Project Fiero and Project $100 Jet Ski. So I'll show you guys those and we'll see what's up. But that's mail time for the day and yeah, so far so good. Tomorrow will be install day for all that stuff. We are, what is it, Wednesday. So we basically have a week left before we have to leave for grid life. So the event is getting pretty close. Also, the giveaway stuff for y'all will be here tomorrow. So I'll show you guys that in the video as well. So we made it to the clubhouse and operation fucked up the arrow is going on. <laughs> How's it been so far? It's been interesting. Not as bad as, uh, I don't know. I thought I'd run into more hiccups. It's just been a long process, but. Yeah, this is Fiero day three. Yeah. We, we discovered the source of his uh, exhaust noise. Yeah, look at that mint muffler, boys and girls. Oh yeah, it's just funny to... Project $100 jet skis over there. I'm gonna go get half price wings if you wanna come. I got dinner at home. How's your uh, $100 shit box? It's good. Should be running tomorrow. Really? Does that you think so, or are you being hopeful? No, you'll probably be the weekend. Okay. So Graham found a jet ski in pieces. That that thing sounds like that. There we go. That's performance. Uh, that's perfect. That's the pinnacle. So Graham found a jet ski in pieces. The guy wanted 500 bucks for, and. Graham's excellent negotiation skills got it to a hundred dollars. Tomorrow. What's up guys? Welcome to tomorrow. Um, today is install time on the FC. We're gonna do the planted C bracket get that seat sitting where I want. And then in here, probably around this area, in front of the fire extinguisher, put the mount for the cool shirt. Those are my two little goals for the day, so let's go ahead and get started. It's not hot yet. Thankfully, but I'm sure it will be hot pretty soon. So we gotta pull the old seat out, test fit the new bracket, and see how that goes. Well, 
We're installing a bracket from Planted. I've used Planted on a few cars before. We had a bunch of Planted stuff on Cowan's car. My side mount rails are Planted, so now we're gonna do the seat base. So this planted bracket sits super low. Kinda regret cutting most of that cushion out, so we'll figure out how to do that. I gotta pull that seat off, or pull the seat off the brackets, put it on the planted rail, and then bolt that down. It's hot, I'm just gonna take the seat inside. Does anybody ever wish that you guys just had a hardware store sitting in your garage? It'd make my life so much easier. But went to Lowe's, got some great hardware to throw the seat on the base, and then we'll get the base in the car, and this project should be done. So let's get to that. So our seat is mounted on the planted rail. I didn't film that because it's just bolting stuff on. You guys can figure that out, but time to throw this thing back in the car. This damn seat fought with me way more than uh, I'd like to admit, but our seat's in, bolted down nicely. This thing is sturdy as hell, a lot stronger than it was on the factory bracket. Sits like maybe a hair lower. I don't notice a whole lot of difference, but this thing is good to go. Again, it's fucking hot. Um, Next up is the cool shirt bracket, which let me go grab that and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with that system. Now, I don't know if I actually showed you guys or told you all about the cool shirt. I know I put it on Instagram, but I don't know if I mentioned it on YouTube. For those of you that do not know, this is race car air conditioning. So, in this cooler, you have, you have a bunch of ice in it, and then you'll throw some water in there. There's like a little pump in there that'll pump it out through a line into a shirt that you're wearing, and then it'll pump it back through and dump back into the cooler, and then it'll keep on doing it. So, I've worn this a lot coming back from Amari's shop, but it was just sitting in the back seat, and now it's time to actually really install this for real, hard mount it, get all the lines run nicely and figure that out. Quite frankly, I really hate how it sits in the passenger seat. Ty had the idea of putting it in the passenger seat to basically add it as a ballast and kind of help try to balance that weight. I mean, it's not gonna be much, but 25 pounds of, uh, like 20 pounds of ice and water is definitely something. The plate doesn't fit in there that well, but the cooler does. So we might use the plate or we might just throw eye bolts in the uh, floor and run straps over it um, just do four eye bolts and basically cross the straps around it on top see how that works but i'm not sure so i'm going to hold off on doing the cool shirt install today to think about this some more and try to get some better ideas and see what i actually want to do i had an idea i was talking to ty and alfie and we're going to lowe's see if this idea is going to work oh god i just dropped water on myself but the idea is we're gonna use eye bolts, like four eye bolts, to put them in the passenger floorboard. They'll be out of the way of passengers' feet whenever people wanna ride along with me. We can pull the cooler out easily, and we'll just run two ratchet straps across the cooler. So we're back from our Lowe's trip. Uh, some guys in an M3 got out and started talking to me about how great the S2000 handled for like five minutes. That was kinda cool. We got our eye bolts, so we'll run these guys put them through the floor, hook ratchet straps through. That's how we're gonna hold this cooler down. It'll be simpler, easier, and cheaper than that cooling plate. And I'll get 90 bucks back from that when I return it. So, works for me. So we're running into a small problem with my plan here. I originally wanted the cool shirt to sit like this. But the problem is, 
if it's right here, these lines get pinched by the door, which means no water flows, which means I'm hot. We can't run it the other way because it'll hit on the trans tunnel. So we're thinking we're just gonna have to run it long ways and we can, uh, we can do that. We'll be able to run it, have an eye bolt down here that'll go over. Um, yeah, I think we'll end up being okay here. So we're gonna do that. Ignore how much I'm sweating. It's hot. I also sweat a lot. We've got one hook in right down there. We got another hook in. So let me grab the strap and then we'll tr test the one strap and then we'll do the second one. Our first strap is solid and good. So I just need one more to go from the trans tunnel over here. And then that's all we gotta do. All right guys, so there you have it. There's the cool shirt box mount install. That thing's not going anywhere. I zip tied up just the excess, the straps to uh, make it a bit cleaner, make it easier to put in, take out. So I don't have to deal with tangled mess, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, it looks a little ghetto and different, but it beats the plate, it fits better, and we can pop that out, have passers in the car easily versus having that cooling tray in there. Let me know what y'all think. I think it came out pretty good. I still have to wire the cool shirt system, but I think I'm gonna leave that alone for tomorrow just because I'm ridiculously hot. I've got some work I gotta get done, and I wanna edit this video, get it up for you guys so you guys have something to watch. So tomorrow I will get to edit, or I'll get to wiring, and then I'll show you kind of what's going on with that afterwards. Stay tuned for that video. We're gonna go, I'm gonna take a shower, and I'll, we'll run over to the clubhouse, see how Project Fiero is going, and see what's going on over there. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like in the video if you enjoyed this. Let me be sure to comment. Let me know how ghetto you think the eye bolt slash ratchet strap mounting setup is, and let me know if you guys like the planar brackets or not. I like them a lot, but they were kind of a bitch to install. The back pieces of, like the back ledge of the bracket made it really hard to get a wrench in there and just deal with that. So that's my only like annoyance with the planted brackets. But I sit like maybe half an inch lower. It's more stable. I like it. Don't use, uh, kids don't use your factory brackets to mount seats. I did that for, I don't know, three or four years and it, it was not, not the best idea. I always knew it was sketchy. Always wanted to change it, but didn't want to spend the money on brackets. I suggest you definitely do that. You guys are going to be way happier. We made it to the clubhouse. Project Fiero pretty much looks about the same as it did yesterday when we left you guys. Except this is on the ground again, kind of, and that's still that. But our giveaway stuff came in from Abbott at AW Stickers. Super pumped to see these. Here's our giveaway sticker. I redid the Stay Up sticker in holographic gold instead of white. Decided to do, like, since we're going to Grid Life, I wanted to do something basically for all you guys that watch the channel or just anyone that like follows me on social media or hangs out or just pays attention to anything that I do or that we do. Um, I wanted to make some stickers to give away for you guys, or like have something to give away. And I thought stickers was a good idea. A lot of people like these stay up stickers and I did them last year. And since the new livery on the RX-7 is gold, we did gold. So remember to come see me at the paddock at Grid Life. Pick yourself up one of these. We only have 50, so they're definitely gonna go by fast. So I'm also gonna like only give out a certain amount each day. So like if you only come Friday or you only come Saturday or Sunday, you have a chance to get one. Come by, see me, hang out with us, grab a sticker, slap them on your car. Let me see what they look like. Thanks for watching this video. Remember hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you're stoked about the stickers. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm still trying to hit a thousand subscribers before grid life. Thank you guys. Bye y'all.